Missile defence essentially encompasses three elements, sensors, effectors and command and control. I'm here with Brian Rosselli, Vice President of Raytheon Mission Systems and Sensors, to talk to us about that sensor element. So Brian, can you talk to us about Raytheon's product portfolio and perhaps some of the new technology advancements you're making? Sure, Beth, would love to. Radars are a part of Raytheon's lifeblood. After 60 years of making radars, we have quite a portfolio that we can bring into the missile defense mission space. And I think that's important with missile defense, in particular, being able to provide layers of missile defense. Um, I would like to point you out to the, the screen back here to really talk through our portfolio and the capabilities those radars bring. On the left-hand side, we have very large radars that provide a search function. We can see out to 5,000 kilometers for early detection and the ability to track threats as they come across. In the middle, you have kind of a mid-range frequency radars that are really tuned to be able to discriminate against the threat and be able to start providing a tracking and uh, firing solution to be able to take out the threat. And then here on the far side, we have really short range radars that are much higher frequencies that provide really precise engagement coordinates to be able to work with a missile or an effector to be able to neutralize the threat. Now, in the overall portfolio of layered defense, you have sensors, but you also need to work with the integration of the data in order to provide actionable information. That's something else that Raytheon's very proud of, our capability to provide a complete integrated air picture. And from that, we can then provide information to operators to act as they see fit. Of course, Raytheon continues to develop these technologies um, to meet future threats and requirements. Can you tell us about some of those latest technological developments? Yeah, we're really excited about the uh, investments and the innovation that are going into radars today. Raytheon's been investing in GAN technology for over 15 years. GAN is a semiconductor technology that allows our radars to see much further, thus being able to detect the threats earlier. In addition to that, we've been working on advanced processing so that we can run additional waveforms and different algorithms to be able to discern different threats and, and react to them faster. And we also are partnering with commercial firms in order to look at how to engage in, in new technologies like machine learning, artificial intelligence, uh, and being able to embed those into our radar systems so that we can sort through the data faster and provide actionable information to the user.